Hey everyone, Mark here. Welcome to my channel. Today's video, we are going to revisit, uh, talk again about um, this particular release. Um, this is the MoFi release of Blue Hawaii. Um, the reason I say revisit, um, I did a video of this when this first came out. Um, it's been well over a year ago, maybe year and a half let me see 2021 wow it's been it's been a couple years a few years um so so you wouldn't have to look go back and look um you know for the video to find it i made it easy for you brought it right here reason i am revisiting this is uh quite often i get uh somebody that reaches out and asks me you know what is the best version of a particular release um best version of from elvis in memphis elvis is back uh, for an example, and I wanted to revisit this one because it is my favorite soundtrack of Elvis. Um, I think his voice is just sheer perfection during this recording, uh, recorded in March of 1961. And yeah, if you want the best sounding, most pristine sounding version of this wonderful soundtrack, this is it. Um, so they reproduced the cover, but at the top it does say original master recordings on the back. It's got the same back as the original album with the, the four film pictures uh, from, from the movie. Um, and then you have side one, two, three, and four. Side one has four songs. Side two has three. Side three has four. And side four has three songs. So it's at a 45 RPM uh, by MoFi. And mine is numbered 4,133. Oh, it's really hard when you're doing these videos. I don't know if you can see that. Now, as I mentioned in that video I did a couple of years ago, the gatefold is arguably one of the worst I've ever seen. For this to come out and to sound the way it does, um, if, if the gatefold, if that's not a big deal to you, uh, then, you know, but I was... Uh, I was a little, I was very disappointed. Here is the gatefold. So on this side, you just have looks like palm trees, and then it just says Blue Hawaii. Now, what does this print at the bottom say? Yeah, Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab gratefully acknowledges their thanks to the following individuals. Any art sonic artifacts present are a product of the original master tapes. Attempts to eliminate them would have negatively impact the integrity of the presentation. So, yeah, very underwhelming as far as a gatefold. But overall, if you were to ask me what is the version to have of this, it would be this version, Mo Mobile Fidelity Labs. Um, this is a wonderful, wonderful release. It does say mastered by Craig Wonderlich, assisted by Rob Laverde at Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab in California. Specially plated and pressed on 180 gram high definition vinyl production by Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab. So there you have it. Um, what's the vinyl look like? Let me show you. It is very heavy. I won't take it out, but that's, it comes in the standard Mobile Fidelity, much like the From Elvis and Memphis that came out uh, last year. Sorry that this came out. This might have came out in 2022, but at the time of pressing, it was 2021. It doesn't seem like it's been three years, almost going on four. Uh, but just a regular black label that says MoFi on it. And uh, what's really nice about this release is that you can still not only can you find it fairly plentiful, um, but it's not it's it's priced pretty pretty, I think very reasonable. Usually you can find it for between 40 and 50 bucks, whereas uh, the from Elvis in Memphis, 
the retail on that was 125 so you can get this for half the cost and like I said, it sounds so good. Elvis's voice is front and sever, center. <laughs> the instrumentation is, you know, going from speaker to speaker. Um, it's just a great release. Uh, I love this soundtrack. I love every song on it, with the exception of it. And even that's kind of fun, but Ito Eats, I think that's probably everybody's least favorite. But, uh, I mean, yeah, Blue Hawaii, Almost Always True, Kid I'm Falling In Love, Rock Hola Baby, Moonlight Swim, which was always a... Um, a guilty pleasure of mine, you know, Slice and Sand, Hawaiian Sunset, it goes on and on. Uh, 14 great songs, as it says on the cover. So yeah, I just wanted to come on and do this uh, quick video. So like I said, I do get these questions from time to time from folks asking me, you know, what is the best sounding version? I popped this out, I was going to listen to some music on my turntable, and this came to mind. I thought, you know what, I want to put this on. I put it on, listened to it, it was blown away. And I thought, you know what? I want to do a video and revisit this um, this wonderful release by MoFi. So that's going to do it for the video today. Um, I have been extremely, as you can tell, I've been away for at least a couple of weeks. I've been extremely busy, busy with some things, getting all my ducks in a row. Uh, of course, the holidays are fast approaching. So I'm looking to definitely get a couple Christmas videos out there for you as well. So, uh, yeah, uh, if there's anything you would like me to review um, or you have an idea for a video, yeah, this channel is for you. I've always said that. I make no, um, and no qualms about that. This channel is for each and every one of you. So if you have something that you would like to see or have something in mind that you would like me to review or talk about or discuss or whatever, feel free to comment. As always, appreciate your comments. I appreciate those who have recently subscribed. Um, and until next time, we shall see you soon. Take care. See you next time. Bye.